Hi, this year is dedicated to the Refuah Shleimo of our dear friend Sarah Dredge, and we will be learning parak number 29. Mizmar Ledoved, a psalm by David. Hobol Hashem Bnei Elim, render to Hashem you the sons of the powerful. Hobol Hashem Kavoyed Voiz, render to Hashem glory and might. Rashi explains rendering to Hashem as preparing to acknowledge that Hashem is the only ruler in the world. And anything, whatever happens in the world, happens because of the will of Hashem. Hobol Hashem Kavod Shmoi, render to Hashem the honor due to His name. Yishtachavol Hashem Beadras Kodesh, bow down to Hashem in the splendor of holiness. Now we know there are many names uh, by which Hashem, God, is known in the Torah. And all of these names represent a certain mida, a certain manifestation of Hashem in this world. We know Yud Kei Vav Kei is a mida of rachamim, of, of, of compassion, of kindness. Elohim is a, is a mida of, of judgment, a harsh, a strict mida. And there are many other names that also have a corresponding mida to them. But we have to know that anything any Mida Hashem expresses Himself with Kovoid Shmoi. The honor is due to His name because anything comes from a good source. Everything comes from Hashem. Koil Hashem ala Mayim ela Kovoid Hirim. The voice of Hashem is upon the waters, the God of glory thunders. Hashem al Mayim Rabin. Hashem is upon the vast waters. Uh, some people say that, uh, that um, Hashem created the world and He disengaged Himself from the world. And um, the world is going by itself for, the last, uh, for almost 6,000 years. But, we, uh, but this passage is telling us that Hashem shows His power, shows His voice through the water. And the, vo the Mephoshim say the water refers to rain. Basically, Hashem shows His daily involvement in the, in the world through rain, that He still keeps sustaining the world, He still, still gives parnasa and everything to the world on a daily basis. Koil Hashem bakoyach, koil Hashem beyodor. The voice of Hashem comes in power, the voice of Hashem comes in majesty. It's very hard for people to relate to Hashem. He is invisible, He is not something material, something we can see or feel with our hands. This is the reason Hashem created majestic objects, natural phenomena such as mountains, great seas, grand canyons, and beautiful trees, that while looking at these, we, could, we, would, we would get inspired and we would get the feeling of majesty, the feeling of awe. This is a very small connection, what and a, sm a very small fraction of ore, if uh, that we would feel if we would understand or see the Rebbeinu But again, the Rebbeinu wants us to get our wants us to get to know him. This is the reason he created all of these big a and and uh, um, awesome um, creations. Koil Hashem shoyder arozim, the voice of Hashem breaks the seers. Vayshamar Hashem es arzei Lebanon. Hashem shares the seers of Lebanon. There are some kings and <coughs> rulers and presidents who think that they are very mighty, and they are the rulers. They are the final decision makers of of um, of their people. They are my, of, for for their people. Hashem teaches us in this post. Uh, King David says in this pasuk, "This is not correct." That Hashem, He can make, He can break the arods and the cedars, and He can, He can shatter the arzei alevonim, the most mighty of the kings. He is the one who can overpower anybody in the world. By arkidim kemoi egel. He makes them prance about like a calf. Levonon the Syrian Kimoi Ben Reimi. The mountains of Lebanon and Syrian are like young Reimi. Koil Hashem Choitzelavois Eish. The voice of Hashem cleaves with flames of fire. 
at the, uh, at the revelation at Sinai, on Sinai, Mount Sinai, the Jew, when the Jews received the Torah, the letters came out, uh, they were flying in the air, as the Medrash is telling us, and they cleaved to the Luchas, and they attached themselves to the Luchas. The same way the Mephorshim say, in order for a person to internalize and understand Torah, he has to open his heart and he has to let the letters, he has to let the Torah internalize and cleave to his heart. Koil Hashem Yochel Midbar, Yochel Hashem Midbar Kodesh. The voice of Hashem shakes the Midbar, shakes the desert. Yochel Hashem Midbar Kodesh. Hashem shakes Midbar Kodesh. There is no such Midbar as by the name Kodesh. So the Mephorshim say that Kodesh refers to Kadosh, to Holy. My interpretation of a Pesach of a Pesach is that some of a combination of a Holy Desert means that even the desert that has no spirituality, a person who has zero spirituality, if he follows the advice from a previous Pesach and opens his heart and lets the, let, lets the letters of the Torah cleave to his heart, he becomes Midbar Koedish, he becomes the Holy Desert. There is no more desert, there is Kodesh, he becomes holy. Koel Hashem Yecholel Ayolais, the voice of Hashem frightens the deer, the Yechasav Yeorais, and strips bare the forests, Ube Yecholai Kuloi Oimer Kovai. And in his while in his temple, all will all will proclaim glory. So who of what is Ayolas referring to? Who are the deer? The deer are the people who are disengaged. They are not the uh, the Levonan, they are not the rulers, and they are not the mighty warriors. They are people standing on the side, the passive people. When Hashem, at, the, at the times of Mashiach. Hashem will make these people tremble. Hashem will make these people understand and He will show to them that He is the ruler of the world as well. Vayechasodioris, He strips bare the forest. The forest refers to armies, mighty armies, not to individual leaders, but to a vast, to, to a vast number of people. And the people who are sitting in this temple, people who always had trust in the Boyne Shalom, will see at the times of Mashiach, the Yomas and Mashiach, the justice and everything what happens and uh, while Hashem reveals Himself, and they will proclaim Kovoid, and they will proclaim glory, because they will understand and 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 uh, feel that anything they did and... and um, the fact that they observed the Torah, the fact that they uh, followed the mitzvahs and uh, tr and and lived their life in derech yosher, in the straight path, in the in, in the morals that the Torah teaches us, they will they will be happy and they will proclaim glory to Hashem. Hashem lamabul yosher, Hashem at the flood was sitting on his throne. Vayeshev Hashem Melech Le'olam, and Hashem sits on the throne, on on His throne forever. This pasuk is talking about the time of the time of the Mabel, the time of the flood, when the world, the wickedness in the world was destroyed. Hashem was sitting on His throne. The Yom Hashanah, while the wicked will be destroyed, Hashem will still be sitting on His throne, but the Reshoyim. At, the, at, the, uh, at that time will proclaim Hashem Melech Loilam, that Hashem is the king forever. They will, see, they will see the justice, they will see the emes, and they will proclaim that Hashem is forever. Hashem oiz le'ama yitain, Hashem is the strength of his nation, and he gives strength to his nation. Hashem yivorech esamay basholim. Hashem will bless, bless his nation with peace. What is the strength? What is, how Hashem is the strength of His people, of us the Jews? The Torah, the mitzvahs, the chesed, and anything we learn from our, uh, but all the stuff we learn from our Chachomim, 
everything comes from Hashem and it is our strength. This is our endurance. This is our shield from anything what happens in the world. We see um, we see this part of this this parak of Tehillim uh, mentioned twice during the Shabbos davening. Once it comes um, it comes as a last pos uh, as a last parak um, of um, Kabbalah Shabbos, and then we say it right uh, when we take back the Torah after Shacharis after the Kriya of Shacharis. This pos uh, this parak is a milestone in uh, in uh, Jewish life. This parak teaches us that anything what happens is for good. The last uh, the last pasuk in the uh, in Aleinu, which we say which we say three times a day says Hashem echad v'shmo echad that Hashem is one and His name is one. That no, but we there is a little contradiction. Why do we need to repeat the same thing twice? We because we the people are human. Sometimes we call the things good and sometimes we call the things bad because again this is this is our nature, these are our emotions. But really Hashem Echad, Hashem is one and Ushmo Echad and his name is one. There is no good, bad or any other type of God. There is only Hashem Echad, there is only one name and the name is good. Hashem is good and whatever happens is for good.